All right. Now, okay. Um, actually, let's let's go to the movies real quick because that's the end of Fantasia. Um, but honestly, like the last four of these, pretty much throwaways. Um, like I said, I I mainly just put the the anyone who is kind of a main character, their name is in the movie. They automatically made the list so that I had someone from the movie to rate. Um, but starting with rating the movies, Dumbo honestly didn't remember a lot about this movie and i'm pretty sure i watched it most recently like six or seven years ago um so like i i have a more recent memory than my childhood of it but i still didn't remember much um for those of you who haven't seen dumbo in a while and the most the most you remember about him is he's a flying elephant um he doesn't fly into the last five minutes of the movie and they don't even mention him flying into the last seven minutes of the movie so <laughs> There's a whole like 50 minutes where it's just um he's getting bullied for having long cheers. He's being born. That's like the first 10 15 minutes of the movie. Uh he gets drunk. That's another underage drinking. He gets drunk with the mouse. Um I will say Timothy Mouse wonderful friend. Um like if you ever just need a a hype guy, someone who makes you feel great, I suggest Timothy Mouse because he's the guy. He's the guy to do it. Um, but yeah, I think for Dumbo, Dumbo's gonna go four. Uh, uh, no, no, I like. Um, I feel like Dumbo and Fantasia were on the same level for me, and even Snow White. Like, no, I'll put I'll put him three. I'll put Fantasia four. Yeah, I th- that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense to me. <laughs> because like, again. These are these are older movies. They're classics. They have that nostalgia to it, and I think it's gonna be, become very very hard once we get some newer movies on here. Because how how do you compare Frozen and Snow White when they're just they're a hundred they're hundred they're eighty something years apart that they were made. So there's obviously gonna be way more stuff to pull to make Frozen better than. Disney had for Snow White, um. So the, definitely the rankings for these movies are gonna be get, get hard. And like I said, this is just my pure opinion. This has nothing to do with anything. I just figured I'm watching these movies. I might as well put them in a ranked list. <laughs> so that being said, let's get back over to the rankings. Uh, so from these this movie, I basically had two. I had Timothy Mouse and I had Dumbo. For let's start with Dumbo. So for Dumbo, he's got big ears. He can fly. Um, he can swing a hammer, but not very hard. Like he basically just makes tiny little dings on a, um, on a stake. So really his hammering isn't that strong. She's got a high pain tolerance. I forgot why. Um, oh yeah. He gets like beat up at one point. Um, he falls. Oh, and, oh yeah, that's right. He's a clown in a, he performs with a bunch of clowns who attack him, who like spray him with the high pressure water. Um, which he can also spray high pressure water out of his nose, which is definitely a strength for him. Um, I think looking at him versus Snow White, I think he could easily take Snow White. He, the mirror, I think he could take the mirror as well. Um, that water would break the mirror. He could fly. He can, I mean, the mirror could like bully him about his ears, but he's got Timothy. Like Timothy's basically made it so he can't be hurt about his ears anymore. Um, so I definitely think. If we're going to look at the ranking here, I think I think he'd go above the mirror. But under Jiminy, because I think Jiminy can handle the water pressure from his nose. And basically, even though he can fly, Jiminy can glide very long. So I think he could like catch up to him while he's flying. Um, definitely, if Dumbo were to grab Jiminy and try to like fly him up and drop him, I think Jiminy would have no problem floating down with his umbrella and surviving. So yeah, I think I think that's a good place for Dumbo. Timothy Mouse, honestly, honestly, I don't think he could beat Snow White. <laughs> he uh, basically all he has for him is stealth, but also like Snow White can control animals. So basically, it'd be like saying to a to a cat to catch Timothy Mouse, and I think that's the end of Timothy Mouse. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think that that's a nice quick ranking for Dumbo characters. Didn't think they'd make it too far up the list. 
So Bambi, um, honestly, as far as Bambi the movie, honestly, out of the five movies that I watched, I think I was the most interested in the Bambi storyline. Maybe because I haven't seen it in a very long time, but I feel like probably as recently as any of these movies is the last time I watched Bambi. Um, but definitely a real, like, I don't know. There's something about these older Disney movies that have such an adult tone that is just fun to watch as a, an adult and and see it differently than I did as a kid. Like, Bambi, um, I mean, obviously there's Bambi's mom getting killed by a hunter, but it's all about how man sucks. Man is terrible. Um, and honestly, I, I think the story of Bambi is still very relevant today. <laughs> Um, basically it's about how the arrogance of man burnt down the entire forest that Bambi lives in, um, killed his mom. Basically the villain of this movie is man, which is, which is interesting. Oh yeah. The entire last half of Bambi is about three main characters, Bambi, Flower and Thumper learning about being horny in the spring and getting off to women being hot. (laughs) <laughs> that's literally the whole third act of the movie until um bambi fights another deer for his mate and then they have children that's the entire third act of the movie <laughs> i mean most of these movies I, I, I bambi's not one of them but pinocchio dumbo it's no white maybe they all had drinking they all had smoking and it's, it's kind of so interesting to go back and kind of see that um, so yeah, I think I'm going to put Bambi first. Definitely one of the ones I had funner watching out of the five of these, but looking at the characters, these two are both dead last. <laughs> Actually, no, I shouldn't say that. Um, Bambi definitely dead last. I'm going to put him 15. I think Thumper could take Timothy Mouse just because Thumper has a couple of special skills. Uh, he, he has good smell. He has his feet thump like at the speed of light almost and at one point he gets so horny that he vibrates like like the flash trying to go through walls so i think he might like not super speed but super vibration so i think like he could put timothy under his foot and just just stomp on him (laughs) so i think i think he'd be timothy but i don't think there's any way that he could be snow white because once again snow white could just be like hello wolf I want you to eat this bunny for me, and the wolf would eat the bunny for her because she control animals. She can control animals. Um, yeah, so I did. I mean, those last two movies were pretty easy to rank. Fantasia was the toughest. Um, that's the list this week. We have number one Chernabog, number two Mickey, number three Blue Fairy, number four Yensid, number five Dopey, number six The Evil Queen, number seven Pinocchio, number eight Monstro, number nine Jiminy, number ten. Um, Dumbo, number 11, The Magic Mirror, number 12, Snow White, number 13, Thumper, number 14, Timothy Mouse, and number 15, Bambi. Definitely leave a comment if you guys think the list should be something different, if you think one of these characters would beat another one. Um, I'll definitely look into it for next week. 